show you guys this bench that I've been working on. I uh, just recently completed it also. It is an Asian influenced bench uh, by traditional Chinese antiques and Japanese temple architecture. We have four different woods that were used for the construction. The top is a very nice wide thick plank of hard yellow pine and then the legs are made from some beautiful Douglas fir. Uh, the legs are about maybe three and a quarter inches square all the way around so they're pretty thick. And then what we have on the end is some stylized carved mahogany wings. And they actually have some antique brass leather tacks that have been kind of decoratively applied there in the circle area. I'll kind of get a closer look so you can see it. And then what we see here with the pegs on the legs, which are still not done, that's uh, done from walnut. And those pegs are structural, not every last one of them, but certain of the pegs do do go all the way through to secure the uh, mortised and half-lapped members that create the joinery in the leg. But I've got uh, some more pegs to still add in the piece. And uh, maybe once I put a finish on this piece, I might show it again. This is really just the raw wood. There's no finish applied whatsoever. And uh, maybe to talk a little bit about construction here real quick. This carved portion of mahogany has really been mortised into the side of the bench itself. And there's a good view of those decorative tacks that have been applied there. Really nice piece. All right, so you can kind of see that it is actually mortised into the piece itself of the side of the bench, kind of making it almost look like a stylized wing. I really like that look. And uh, then we have the joinery here. And to kind of show you how I did this real quick, we have this support member here, this decorative stylized scroll cut support. It literally is going through the leg, and this is one piece as it comes out the other side. All right, but what's done for the joinery is it's called a half lap. And you can just barely see the corner of the lap itself where I've cut the center out of this board down to absorb this piece. So this piece has been cut to fit into a cavity that I cut in between this leg here. And then I replace a block back over it after this has been pulled down from the top. So this piece is very sturdy. It's glued in place and pegged in place. And it's literally one piece that goes all the way through. Now in this design, the construction, the mechanics of this design allow the bench to be very sturdy with the shear force, the rocking force, as somebody would sit on it back and forth, which means it eliminates the need for a full rail that goes across. And since the bench top is very thick it will support the weight without having something else go across it also so this one here is mortised in using a floating tenon and then from underneath here in this portion i've got a forstner bit which has created a very clean hole where i've drilled a bolt up into this one to secure it to here there is a tenon okay which is basically a wooden member that is glued into a socket in this board that is then um, met into another meeting socket in this side that would be called the mortise there are mortise and tenons here that join this together but they're not glued um, I've made this bench to where it can be knocked down if I have to ship it and what we have under here is another bolt that goes up into the piece that secures the piece through the mortise into the hole all right, so really the mortise and tenon here is to stop the racking forces and then to create the alignment once the top is joined back into the piece. The tenons aren't very tall through here at all. 
So all in all, this combines for a very uh, sturdy, long-lasting bench. And as I said, I'm going to put a few more pegs here, a few more pegs here, here, and here. And then as you can see, that's going to add some more texture and visual interest to the piece. I'll get up and show you the top view here. Um, there's the uh, really just a simple route cut on the legs there. And, you know, kind of a simple feature to create if you're good with a router. But yet it does give it a little bit of a leg without having to do too much work. Uh... That's basically the top view of the piece with the uh, beautiful heart pine. I'd say the bench top is probably about 16, 17 inches wide. It's pretty big. And then it's uh, pretty thick here. That's what the construction looks like to secure the leg. There is no member that goes between the legs and the upper, but in reality, you could easily still join something in after construction between those two and uh, secure it with a few um, well-placed fasteners. Whether you use wooden dowels or screws, it really doesn't make a difference. What we have right here is the joinery for the leg, which is just a very large uh, squared off board here to keep it simple and we have a very large tenon that goes into a large mortise that has been made super tight and glued in place. There's no potential with the size of those shoulders here for this thing to rack back and forth. But I mean, the grain on this Douglas fir was really beautiful. It really was. Uh, just since I'm kind of under the bench and maybe some of you people are woodworkers and you might understand this, when I mortised this piece of uh, mahogany, you know, I carved it separately. And then when I mortised it into the side of the bench, I realized that I was going to have this overhang down here. And I didn't want this to snap off later by somebody kicking it or it getting bumped up against something. It's already about 3 8 thick here here is probably about five eighths thick so i decided to cut from behind where you can't see it and place in a glue block which would strengthen this but in the future i'm just simply going to increase the thickness of the mahogany that i mortise into the bench and i'll, I'll be able to do away with this added glue block because it'll be thicker down here still all right this is basically the bench, and uh, I do plan on making more of these from different types of wood. All right, thank you guys for watching.